Okay, so let's get started with the demo. The foundation I'll be using today is the Lancome Tan Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. And this is in the shade um, Buff 230 or 230 Buff, however you want to say. Uh, so let's shake, 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 shake. And then I'm doing one pump. Okay, that was a sad pump. I think I must be rounding out. Okay, I guess that's about one pump. One pump. I, I guess so. I don't know. So this is the Cover FX Custom Drops in, in 30, neutral 30. And I'm just going to add about two drops of that to the foundation. What? Now if you'll go. One. Okay. Let's try this again. Two. Okay. Maybe that was like one and a half. And then we're just gonna mix it. So mix it really nice. Okay. Alright. So that's how it looks like. It really, really thins out. So I'm just gonna dab it in places. And then let's use our beauty blender. So Let's go for another round because I want a little bit more coverage. Now, okay, that's more like it. This time I'll just do one drop and this can get messy. So you have to be a bit careful, especially with the bottle because it is very like liquidy, fluidy, you know, things like that. So whenever you use it, please use it carefully because then you're gonna get it spilled everywhere luckily that hasn't happened to me yet but i don't want to jinx myself so let's not do that <laughs> and this doesn't alter the color too too much actually it does alter it quite a bit because the foundation i'm using is actually in my winter shade and the color that i have in the custom drop drops um in 30 it's a bit darker and it darkens the foundation just a bit but then it doesn't um It still matches my skin. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and then I will be back for the review part and the everything. Okay, so I'm back from, I finished my makeup. And so I guess we'll just go ahead and start talking about the product. So this is the Cover FX Custom Drops. Um, I don't wanna call it foundation, but I think that's kind of the best category to put it in. So this costs $44 and you get half a fluid ounce, which is half the amount you usually would for for foundation. <laughs> uh, but the thing is with these, it's that it's very, very fluid, very liquidy, and you can use it for pretty much anything. You don't need much of it at all. This is pure pigment. Literally, like, whenever you... Whenever you look at foundation and everything like that, sometimes if it's very full coverage, they'll tell you how much pigmentation is in there. And for, say, the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, which... For the Becca Ultimate, Com Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream, I believe that they claim there's about 35% pigment in this, which means that... This, if it's full pigment, then that means you get pretty much like 100%. But this can be very customizable and it can be sheer. So the thing with this is that it comes in a wide range of colors. They have cool tone, neutral, and warm tone shades. And then they go from really light to really dark. So, you know, you can really customize your color. And, you know, if you're more neutral with a tint of warm, you can always get, you know, a neutral and a warm one and then mix them together. But the thing with this is that you can mix it in with your moisturizer, your tinted, your tinted, uh, your tinted balm, I guess, your BB cream. You can mix it in with your sunscreen and everything like that. So I did some research on it. I watched a few videos and then I watched a uh, Beautypedia's video on it. And they said that because it's such a small amount, if you mix it in with your sunscreen, it won't interfere with how much SPF 
coverage you get. Um, so, you know, that's a good thing. You can, you know, put it on with your sunscreen and then you will be good for the day. Uh, the thing with this is one drop is sheer coverage, two drops is medium, and three drops is full coverage. So for my demo, I used two drops the first time. Well, it was like one and a half drops, actually. I used like one and a half drops the first time, and then the second time I just used one drop. So I guess that's like almost three drops total for my whole foundation application. Now, with this, I really, really, really like it. It's it's so good. I do. I haven't used it in my moisturizer because I put on sunscreen after my moisturizer. So I've popped it in my sunscreen before and it works really well. But the thing is, I don't wear primer on regular, you know, usual days. And I feel like this kind of needs primer because whenever I put it in with my sunscreen. But the thing is, okay, first let's start with this. I sweat so easily. <laughs> and so that's why I kind of I, I refrain from wearing anything that's really tinted during uh, the week because you know I'm off to classes sometimes I have to walk from my apartment to class and that is a mile walk uphill like it is like a 45 degree angle probably not but it is like that and so by the time I'm on campus I'm sweating balls and <laughs> This with the primer, well, like this just with my sunscreen does not last because sometimes I'll be like, oh, you know, like sw wiping my sweat off and then like it just takes everything else with it. But I do really like this mixed in with my foundation on top of primer uh, and it just looks really nice and flawless. At first I thought maybe it was the neutral color was a bit not really my color, but I was also trying a new powder and I think that powder was too pink for me. But I, I feel like this goes perfectly. So another thing with this product is that you don't really feel it on your skin. It's really nice and lightweight. So long, I, you don't really feel a difference from your foundation with this. Does that make sense? It doesn't really, um, it doesn't affect the way your foundation feels too, too much. If anything, whenever you drop it in your foundation, I think it makes it more liquidy, more fluid. It makes it spread much more easily. This spreads so easily, like so much. Like the foundation that I use today, the Lancome one, this one, it's really, really thick. Well, not really, really thick, but it's pretty thick. It's thicker than the Estee Lauder Double Wear. But whenever I mix in the cover drops with the custom drops whenever I mix in the custom drops with it it really like makes it easy to spread it's a bit more liquidy or fluid and then you know it just it kind of changes that but I don't think it changes the coverage oh, okay wait that, that's that's not so it changes how well it spreads uh, but it doesn't make it more, it doesn't make it any more heavy on your face or anything like that. So I think that's a good thing. So this is really great. I really, really love this. I purchased this because I knew that I was going to take this with me on my trip this summer. So that way I don't have to worry too much about foundation, taking foundation or anything like that. So pretty much bottom line, I highly recommend this. I don't really recommend it if... I don't really recommend it without primer, but it might just be my skin and because I sweat balls all the time. <laughs> so um, pretty much that's that's about it. You can, you know, you can see it does cover really well. I did have a red spot uh, before I put on foundation and it covers it decently. I didn't put any more like concealer on it or anything like that. So you can see the coverage that it has and I... I just really like it. I think that I may even end up trying to invest in more colors, you know, to in case I need a little bit more oomph or something or, you know, if I t end up tanning or getting lighter, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so that is it for this review and demo. So bottom line, I highly recommend this. Definitely go and get it if you can. And you, this will last you a while because you don't need much at all. So I hope you all enjoyed this quick review. I tried to, I wanted to get it like down pat as much as possible and 
cut down my video time as much as possible <laughs> but yeah so please let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts below in the comments if you have tried this product subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you all next time bye